Brian Goulet here of GouletPens.com, and I'm sitting down with the legendary Dante Del Vecchio. He's a um, kind of a, a, a iconic figure in the pen world. Uh, for those of you that may not be familiar with him and introducing him for the first time, he is now the, um, what is your official position at Penider? Designer? Pen, pen expert. Pen, pen expert. At, pen expert. At, at, at Penider. My business card saying pen expert. There you go. I would, I would say that's a very fitting title for you. Well, what about the legendary? It's not true. Come on. <laughs> so he's been designing pens for 30 years, an absolute icon. And pen making world. pens for 30 years. Absolutely. Because they design at one point, but then yeah. when you go to the making, well, you, that's a whole you make different the right thing. stuff. That's a whole you different make the right thing. stuff. <laughs> exactly. So um, he's here. He's touring our new facility for the first time. Yes. We sat down with you two and a half years ago, I think, we, or so. We knew each other from that's a while. Absolutely. From a while. Yeah. And uh, so we have that video, but now we're here shooting another one while you're here. Yes. It's not often because you're... Very really glad to be here with you again. It's a pleasure. Really? It's an yeah. absolute pleasure. It's an honor for me. Oh, well, thank you. We have such a young, successful <laughs> company. Well, that you know, I'm so happy to <laughs> to be here to talk about pens, yes. our passion, Absolutely. writing. Yes. Wow, well, what is writing? Absolutely. I don't know what it means writing. <laughs> Who's writing anymore? You anyway, know those right? guys that we type exactly. like this, you know, it's like robots, like you know, oh, Mamma yeah. Mia. <laughs> exactly. But you you brought some very exciting things. We're going to talk about some pens. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk a little bit about Penider because it's even even those who are really familiar in the pen world. Penider is an, an up-and-coming name. It's a new name for, is it, is for the pen world. It's is, is a, a huge name in Italy. Yeah. Since uh, 240 years, Penider. 240 who, years. Was in business that's, that's without crazy. interruption. Yeah. Uh, Penider was uh, uh, founded from the Penider family coming from Germany to Florence. Okay. They opened a nice store in uh, Signoria Square. And uh, from then we go. Wow. was uh, basically a luxury stationer okay. uh, selling uh, uh, pens, mm -hmm. printing your uh, um, beautiful, you know, paper. Stationery and cards. Stationery, like cards. For like royalty. I mean, we're talking presidents, queens, kings, uh, royalty. Say, yeah, basically, right? uh, they made popes and, you know, everybody. Uh, nearly for everybody. Yeah. Official, you know, a supplier of the Pope, of the you know, uh, in Great Britain, of the Queen, yeah. and uh, kings, uh, and uh, the last one, Pavarotti. <laughs> Pavarotti wow. made the marriage with the Pinaide paper. Wow. Okay. And um, in, in, in Pinaide, there is a Fort Knox yeah. that is uh, not gold, but right. like gold, wow. where is the original dice of all these things, you know. So, wow. so all the plates uh, with all these the plates, famous royal family's yeah. names and crests and things. And like one that. of the expertise of Pinaide is the printing on relief. Wow. So to make uh, the relief paper, you need to have a die yeah. that you press in a mold and comes your name in color, just uh, bold out of the paper. Wow. Yeah. So, so they've been doing paper, but they've, been, they've also been doing pens. They haven't been as known in the pen world, in, I would in, say. In, in the pens, they were doing pens since the 18th century. So it's okay. So a huge, little, bit, huge. little bit of experience. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Just a tad. A little bit. But uh, the company went uh, for a long time, was run from the Pinaider family. Okay. Then uh, it was sold to Gucci, or one of the branches of Gucci in the okay. 70s. Okay. And then uh, we went through some, say, strange time, we call that okay. weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because uh, many companies was running, you okay. know, Pinaider. Not always with success, not always well, mm -hmm. but uh, we are here. We are here, now we have a new owner. Okay. It's, a, it's a big Italian uh, company that okay. decided to invest uh, their, uh, uh, their know-how, their money, their, their, um, their will to continue this luxury company in mm -hmm. the world and make it, you know, again, and see that they, I feel like that makes a big difference these days because I see these iconic brands who they just aren't as invested into it anymore. You know, they have the name, but the products have no passion behind them. Nobody really understands the pen market, the pen community. It, it makes such a huge difference who's behind it. I would like to say that, you know, uh, Pinader is a little bit more than just pens. Okay. Pinader is paper, first mm -hmm. of all. For sure. Because, uh, That's what they've been known for. for they have a know-how <laughs> internal with people, you know, expertise mm -hmm. and, uh, and, uh, and a machinery for paper. Okay. We do not manufacture our own paper, but there is a know-how that is incredible. Yes. Uh, it's leather. 
-hmm. leather. We have a leather expert. Uh, we design and produce internally leather. Okay. And uh, uh, pants yeah. that uh, with uh, uh, the coming of myself in Pinay that is going yeah. to have uh, um, uh, a change because uh, from before I bring a new concept in Pinay that making the section of Pinay the pants really a pen company. Yes. So he neither like, got pens, but never got an expert of pens inside. Yeah. So by you joining, they really decided. Yeah, this is the this is the time. I have to, I, I to have to it. say that uh, they were willing willing to have me inside. Okay. To create uh, for uh, the pens the same fashion they already had in paper and leather. I, I see. So I created for Pinander a symbol mm -hmm. that is the clip. Yes. And they decided it couldn't be anything else than a feather. Yes. As is one of the oldest writing instruments. Sure. Much before. Fitting, fitting for the time of oh. you know, the history of when they started 800, the company. 800 yeah. years. So probably wow. Mr. Pinard was writing with a feather when he started probably, the company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> In 1774. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> for sure, eh? Okay, yeah. So, I mean, how did that come to be? Do you, are you, um, did you know someone there? Have you always been familiar with Penine? Uh, we, like, you know? Florence is a nice company. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, 20 million tourists every year, yeah. but at the end, it's a small town. Yeah, okay. We all know each other. I yeah. knew Penine. I knew what my old friend was working inside, so it, it was nice for I me. I gotcha, yeah. And I have to say, it's close to my home. That's <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. Because I think I think you could have you could you could go anywhere in the world, and people would want you involved in their pen making. I would say, um, uh, say not to flatter you, but I would yeah. I would say that's you know you, yeah, you bring so much. I, I'm in thirty years in business, you yeah, know, and uh, I would have to say in the pen industry, everybody knows me. Yeah, I, you're a pretty I, unforgettable guy. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that. Okay. It seems that I've made <laughs> enough damages in, in this <laughs> industry until now. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. You've built more than you've broken down, I think. Um, so let's talk about some of the stuff that you have developed. Because you've only, you've only been at Panadier for how long? Not, one year. One year. One year? Yeah, one year. Oh, only one year. Okay. So it's a new company, all these new people, procedures. I, I have to say that Panadier gave me, you know, the chance to really express myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've worked to, 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 to dress Pinade with mm. the best pen I could make and, okay. uh, and realize, and, but give them, most of all, an identity. Yes. Because how many pens are in the market? You know, yeah. so well, many. Yeah. But uh, to really, you know, be different, mm -hmm. be unique, but also be yourself yes. and carry a history with yes. your pens. Yes. Because at the end, we don't want just a writing instrument. Mm -hmm. We want to tell our customers a story. Yes. A story that is uh, the passion that we put in our daily business. Absolutely. It is not just to go there and make some pens because we have to work. No, it's not that. Yeah. Pen is a niche market, very small, but full of people that they badly no love, you know, pens. Absolutely. And this is what. We that's also. our that's our people there. Ah, that's our people. It's, it's myself. <laughs> I started as a pen collector 30 years ago. Yeah. And now yeah, I'm, I'm now making for Pinaider, you know, a brand. Yeah. From not from scratch, but giving that those things that I think is a, a pen a pen company should not miss. Yes. Should not miss. And I think you know when we so we started carrying the the Grande Bellezza and the um, Avatar yes. last year. I think that was a, a little bit of a sampling, an introduction. I mean, you, you came up with those pens months after you arrived I, there, I, which I, I, I'm used to it's, say it's that- It's amazing. I, I mean, it takes two to three years to develop I, pens I, at most I, companies. I'm used to say that Rome was not done in one day. Right. But it's incredible what they've done in one year. <laughs> it, it, it really is, and I just want to highlight that fact. That Most it, of the people yeah. is shocked when yeah, they and come to Finaida and they see a company that uh, used to buy pens outside, yeah. and now we manufacture pens yes. from scratch. Yeah, that's that's impressive to, to, to go from that in such a short time. And I think you have a reputation that precedes you of you bring new ideas, tons of creativity, innovation, because that's what you've been doing for what, 30 what years. What the world recognized me is my incredible creativity. Yeah, absolutely. They, my wish of, for innovation. Mm -hmm. And also, I always put myself on the game again. Yes. I'm never happy. Yes. Never happy because I think when you're happy, you're dead. I always, everybody asks me, Dante, which is your best pen? The next. The next one. <laughs> I love it. I love it. 
I love it. I get asked that too. What's your favorite pen? It's so the exciting, next, you know. The next. The that's, next. that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Because I mean, you're you're at the you're not that old, but you're you're at the age where you could just retire. I know you race motorcycles. You could do a lot of other things. I race you know? motorcycle. You you yeah, know about that? I've know about that. Uh -huh. yeah, I've seen uh -huh. some pictures. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm not going to stop. No, I don't. I hope you don't. You know, whatever whatever makes you happy. I promised my wife to stop when I was sixty. Okay. But now I'm 62. Okay. <laughs> and I told her, Carla, I will stop to race with number 50 and start to race with number 60. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I love it. I love it. So um, we got to talk about some of the stuff you have here because I think the pens that came out before, it was amazing the time frame that they came out with, especially understanding that Peniter is now making pens from scratch and there's so much behind the scenes. The but, you know, the pens that they, they came out, customers were like, okay, since this is February cool, but... 2017, I've made, uh, I've designed two clips for Pinider mm -hmm. that are uh, both of them recalling a feather. Mm -hmm. My uh, target is to make a family of feathers. Okay. Because the family feeling has to be that one. Okay. But at the end, every clip is targeted to have a different customer okay. or public. Okay. We made a young clip for young people mm -hmm. in a cheaper line, in what we call an entry level. Okay. A clip that is more classical, that is actually the great beauty, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is more classical style for um, you know people that want a pen that is more, let's say, luxury. Yes. And very soon we'll have another clip that will be our top level okay. with um, with more technological products uh, mm -hmm. unusual materials you know mm -hmm. and something new that uh, is in my mind <laughs> yes how do you come up how do you come with, with these ideas i mean ah, i have a secret you don't know that no, I told tell you. me about your secret in my home i was very uh, i was very lucky there is a okay. tree a tree full of, of apples okay and when i need a good idea I go there and take the right apple it's easy <laughs> Is the apple, is the tree of the ideas, you know? Oh, yes, Oh, mamma mia. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. If only we could all have such a tree. Uh -huh, yeah, you, you see? Yes. <laughs> I love it. But you have to plant, eh? Huh? <laughs> I love it, yes. It took, it took me 30 years to grow that Okay, tree, well, that's fair. But that's I'm fair. very jealous of my tree. That's yeah. Fair. yeah, I'm sure everybody wants and that tree. And I put water every day. <laughs> there <laughs> you go. I love it. I love it. So let's talk about there some is, of the... There is not the tree of the idea. <laughs> no, no. If, if you have, you have. You if have you don't it. have, it's you don't have. It's a gift, yeah. You just, you but just sometimes have. also involve people in your passion. Yes. In 1996, I convinced uh, the maker of my of the cap of my ink bottles to make pens <laughs> in bucket. Okay. Or sometimes I have a friend that is racing with me. Yeah. And now he's the designer and the 3D designer of my pens. Wow. And you know, involve people in your passion. Yes. This is what I think is beautiful in my work. So just living life, just you meet people and you're yeah. inspired by people. What I left you meet. behind me mm -hmm. is a lot of people that they didn't, didn't know anything about pens. Yeah. And now they sell pens in the United States, mm -hmm. in Europe, everywhere. Yeah. I have my Mexican friend, you know, I like to mention him yeah. because he's a very good friend. Uh -huh. I spent one year to, conv to convince him to make pens. And now he probably t it calls me Maestro. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that's a fitting name. Yes, that's yes. wonderful. So yes, let's, he's a very let's, good guy. Let's talk about some of the things that you've developed now, because I think yes. I think with the marketing of this video and part of the reason why you're you're taking time out of your very busy schedule to sit down with me is because you've developed some things that I think people will say, ah, this that, feels like Dante. That, this feels like something that's got his year, mark. Like you said, I made the uh, uh, two models. I have to say, I've tested the market with yes. these two models. Yes without making modes, but seeing what it was the, the reaction, because yeah. I'm good, but still, you know, there is only one sure. judge. Sure. Is there in the street. Exactly. It's there in the street. Exactly. And I have to see that the feedback was not good, was exactly what I was expecting. Okay. It is even better than good. Okay. Because when you design or do something and the reaction of people is what you expect. Yes. I mean, it means that this is the right direction. Okay. This is what I want. Okay. And, um, you know, in the States, uh, the feedback for both lines were incredible. Mm -hmm. In Italy, also did well. Okay. So, I, desi I decided to turn this first experience of pens into real mold mm -hmm. and go with uh, a wider range of mm -hmm. pens, yes. you know, to be launched uh, worldwide. Yes. So, starting out with that, we have 
the Grand Beauty or the Grande Bellezza, yes. which is going to be a whole new line of, yes. of color. So there's a theme to it of gemstones. The, f the first right. point of the Grande Bellezza 2018, I would like to say, okay. I was inspired from the gemstones. Yes. First of all, because gemstones are beautiful colors. Everybody likes, you know, Lapis Lazuli or Dolite or Malachite because are natural colors. They come yes. always connected to nature. That is mm -hmm. one of the things that I, I care the most. Yes, and that's what we got these right here. Andy, I don't know how I should show these the best, but uh, uh, these are, so this is the same body style as the Grande Bellezza that we yeah. had before. But it's a new material. I would like to say on purpose, I didn't make anything unusual. I want to make a classical pen. Okay. This is for is a, a medium high level mm -hmm. of uh, pen position. Right. I want it not to have too unusual. Yes. But classical, elegant, mm -hmm. everyday use. The clip is uh, very, you know, uh, matching all the rest of the body. Yes. Uh, the clip has the pinata name mm -hmm. in relief respect of the pen, mm -hmm. that is a technique that is very uh, important, very difficult to make. Yes. Uh, in the back side of the, of the clip, I yeah. engraved uh, the famous sentence yes. of the calligraphers. Yes. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I love that. I love you that. You know what it means, I right? I do, yeah. So tell the people. Absolutely. Probably we don't know. Well, I don't know the whole history behind it, but it uses every single letter of the alphabet. Yes. So calligraphers yes. would use it to practice, to basically practice and, their and strokes and show expression. 26 letters, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And this is, you know, obviously in English. You know, yes, but, uh, uh, I, I, I love it? because one of the biggest innovation of this pen, uh -huh. one is the material yes. that is a compound of marble and resin. Marble and resin, so it is a little bit heavier marble. than a regular pen. And you said it was about thirty percent marble, uh, right, or somewhere roughly, there about? It's not, roughly, it's not let's yeah. say you know precise. No yeah. need to be that. Yeah. But uh, so it's, it's a, a good heavier. ratio. Huh? It's a little more weight to it, which I actually like because I prefer a little heavier pens, yeah. and it feels it feels very substantial. Uh, actually, the the intention was to raise from the plastic to something more important. Okay. So and uh, it's a more and it's a natural material, right? There is the also marble. that uh, it's a natural material, but also you know the marble takes easily the same color of the plastic, so it okay. adds just beauty. Absolutely. It it works like you know and and. Well, how easily you're able to get that, Andy, but, you know, we can uh, <laughs> try and cover it with whatever right, shots we right, can. There were okay. five, five colors in total, right? Yes. And uh, these, these colors, these patterns are going to be different for every single pen. Except the, the black. The, the black the, will be pretty consistent. Yes, but, but the, the black has another big point. Yeah. The big point of the black that I probably say this is one of the blackest pen. The blackest <laughs> blacks that you can get. Yes, this. I'm very proud of this black color. Yeah. It is deep, deep, deep black. Yes. And I've worked with my chemistry, you know, with yeah. my, you know, technician okay. to make a really deep black. Gotcha. While in this one, uh, I was just inspired from the stones mm -hmm. and make a, a good uh, collection, you know, that I didn't call, even call this black. We call this the black stone. Black stone, yes. And then we have the Lapis Lazuli, <clears throat> the Malachite, Rodolite, and Tiger High. Yes. Most, the black will, will be exactly all, the pen will be the same color because it's plain, easy. Mm -hmm. While this one, when the machine is making the pen, will mix the color together to give you, every pen will be substantially different yes. one each other. Yes, and I've seen, you brought a couple of samples with you and, and there is definitely some color variation, or pattern variation with every yes. pen. Yes. So every pen will really we, be we, unique we to We try own. to stay always, always in a certain range Mm -hmm. Not make sure. too different, you know. Sure, of course sure, not. yeah. But, but it uh, is unique. These are natural. Materials. Sometimes this is the the nice thing, you know. If you ask me that, which is the pen you like the most, is the one that has a little defect on that. Oh yeah. Not the, the one that out. is perfect. Yes. You know, because sometimes there is a little spot that is clear, transparent. Yes. You know? Yeah. Because this is what makes the pen even more unusual. That's right. I'm with you. And we haven't even gotten to what I think is probably the best part of this pen, which is the nib. And so those who, uh, you know, who are avid writers, they know, they're like, okay, yeah, 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 the pen looks nice, sure, but how does it write? Because these pens, not only is our audience writers and people that actually use the pens, they're not just going to stick this on a shelf or put it in a box and sew it under their bed. They're going to write with this every day. Yeah. And that's part of why you put the expression on here, yes, because this is absolutely. an expression that's used by people that are on Instagram and writing things every day and, and just to recall, and people that are writing. Just to recall that this pen has a very, very special nib. 
It does. It's a new nib that you I, have developed. I have developed it completely in Florence. Yes. I have uh, designed and cut it personally, every single nib. Wow. Until I was able to find the right flexibility that I wanted. Yes. First of all, the, the target that I give to myself is not to make a stiff nib. Right. Because the, the market is full of very rigid pens. That's commonly what you I was yeah. looking to have uh, not a calligraphy nib, be careful, but right. a good soft, soft nib, yeah. writing nib mm -hmm. every day. Yes. If you press the nib too much, you will not have you see a, the, the, the mark increasing by right. the end. So the line but the line variation isn't as drastic. It's, 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 it's a good variation. Some, yeah, but it's, that's not the necessarily the point. Exactly. This is not my point. Okay. To make a calligraphy nib is a completely different story. Okay. This probably one of that's, my, that's my next project. I don't know. That's but good, we'll that's think good to about know. That's good to know because especially those who are newer to the hobby, they hear the word flex or they hear the word soft or whatever and they think this pen should open up wide, like a dip steel, you know. In my point of view, because remember that uh, if they can read your personality through, through calligraphy, mm -hmm. there is nothing more personal than calligraphy. Yes. So a pen that fits everybody is impossible. Right. Is impossible. Yeah. I think that I, as only always in my life, mm -hmm. I like to choose a side, mm -hmm. not stay in the middle and you are non, no, nowhere, you right, know? Right, right. And I wanted to have a real flexible nib, mm -hmm. being careful that we have to educate yes. our customers. Because that people can assume what that's supposed to mean. Yes. Yeah. A, a flexible nib means this, that when you write with, with a fountain pen, mm -hmm. The front of pen is the extension of your hand, so no need any pressure to write. Yes. This means that it's pure pleasure. Yes. And so I, and you I write. think you've achieved that with this pen. If I, <laughs> if I can hype it up just a little bit. Um, Unfortunately, we cannot, uh, you know, the feeling, you know, is through the internet. It's, yes, you cannot, this is a constant <laughs> challenge that I end up dealing with. No, you have to try a yeah, pen, yes. you know, so, to, to so to enjoy, you know, the the, the, the real writing, you know, or, so or the a, pleasure of this nib. It's a it's a fourteen karat gold nib. Fourteen karat gold nib. So the the material itself is a little bit softer than say a steel nib. Or I, something I, like I, that. I I decided for the fourteen karat mm -hmm. gold because it's the most classical, you know, material mm -hmm. for uh, nibs, e easy to get. Yes. Uh, we, I could, uh, was able to laminate in the way that I wanted, because the lamination is one of the key points to make mm -hmm. a good nib. Mm -hmm. A good nib, and uh, and and I've been working a lot on the shape, you know, yes. the height of the shoulders of the nib, yes. on the two cuts behind, to create that kind of combination that after months of test in Florence, mm -hmm. then I was able to go to our historical partner, Mr. Bock. Okay. And saying, and giving Jim and saying, Mr. Bob, do like this. Mm -hmm. And I have to say that from Bok, we got a full cooperation. That's wonderful. In, and Bok, uh, in Bok, testing. Bok, Bok gold nibs have a fantastic reputation. Yeah, I've had I, a good experience I, with I, them. I was uh, uh, at the 60th anniversary of the Bok company in 2001, if I remember okay. well, from Otto Bok. Okay. I was the only company invited from Italy. Wow. I was. Uh, in uh, uh, Heidelberg in 1988, as uh, I was 30 years old. Wow. <laughs> Saying, Mr. Bock, I want to make a pen company. Yeah. And he asked me, you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> well, there yeah, are, a little bit. <laughs> there are big guys over there. There are big guys over there. Uh-huh. You know what? I did it. You did it. I did it because also Mr. Bock, I have to say, he gave me, you know, I said, I like you. And you I go with God his cooperation. Yeah. And they thank Buck Company always yeah. for this. Yeah. And they've delivered on this because you this is a nib that you have designed. Yes. You're working with Bach now, they're manufacturing these. Um, so tell me what makes this nib different in its design than your average nib. I say usually a, a writing nib works on do, two things, you know. Mm -hmm. The sloop after the point. Mm -hmm. The hair roll, this is one of the key points of the structure of the, of the nib. Okay. Because if you pick a round hole or any other shape, mm -hmm. this will affect the flexibility You're of the You're talking about nib. like the breather hole, the air The hole. breather hole, breather yeah, hole correct. yeah. Correct. There's different terminology for it. Yeah, yeah the sure. breather hole. Okay. And also, you know, 
the back side of the nib is also important because it's, it connects the nib to the house. Yes. We call the house, you know, mm -hmm. and it the locks, house it locks the, the nib yeah. there. So mm -hmm. there are a lot of, you know, forces going down there. Yeah. And uh, with the, my engineer, that is my 3D designer, we have simulated many, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the say position of the nibs mm -hmm. in theory. Yes. And coming up with three or four designs that we were thinking it was good. Yes. Then I made some samples mm -hmm. and discovered that a few designs were simply unusable. Yes. Far away too flexible. Yes. Some of them you design and it seems like a good idea when you actually go to use it. It's in the point that we don't sell, you know, unfortunately anymore to experts. Right. Yeah. We sell to everybody. Yeah. You know, so this means that. Um, to find a, a, a super super flex nib, uh, not everybody will be no, ready no, for knows that. how to deal with yeah. that. Yes, I would agree. So I've been using a few samples, you know, okay. for a couple of months. Okay. Then I said, you know, let's go to a little bit more stiffer. Okay. And um, but some designs, you know, some experience, I think, not lost forever. Right. They stay, you know. Yes. So I would say my experience, having written with this nib so far, and I've written with the extra fine and the medium. It's a very wet nib. The flow is very smooth, very wet and consistent. Haven't had any railroading whatsoever. You, you know that the problem, the problem of a wet nib that dries a little bit wider yes, than a, a dried nib. Yes. But the pleasure in wrapping is far away. I mean, it's, the, it's one of the smoothest and softest nibs that I think I've ever used. Yes. And a I've good a setting of the nib helps, a good setting, Yes. but a good ink flow also is very important. Yes, so this is a very generous ink flow, you're going to get a lot of shading, it's going to, it's going to test the limits of your paper, yeah. so you have to use good paper, and coming from a paper company, yeah. that makes sense. Absolutely. In America we would be challenged a little bit because our paper is terrible, but um, for those of you who are like deep into the fountain pen hobby, it will be worth Something that the I'm, experiment I'm, of trying to I'm find I'm very right proud paper. of. Yeah that in Pinay there we have uh, two uh, professional calligraphers okay. that work in the company. Okay. Uh, one of the things we do sometimes, we make custom-made uh, invitation. Oh, I see. You know, and they, you know, just write the invitation by wow. hand. Wow. For important customers or for anybody who wants to use something that is significantly different, you know, from wow. the standard. Wow. You know? So I went down to Stefano and Bettina <laughs> okay. and, and uh, Elisabetta and asked their, hey guys, you want to try this nib? Okay. So I left them. So these them. are experienced, they yes. do calligraphy for a living. For some time. Okay. So I left them and we've been discussing, you know, fighting a little bit. Sure. This is good, this is bad, this is good, this is bad. But sure. I have to say that they give me a lot of advices. Okay. What is uh, professional writing, what is supposed to happen, what is not supposed to happen. Okay. I've been comparing with the classical English nibs, you know, yes. dipping dip nibs. Sure, you know. sure, yeah, absolutely. And uh, I was able to concentrate all this experience, months and months of work in this nib. That's wonderful, and I think it shows. And I think people are going to go. I think crazy. I did. Uh, no, not I did. Sorry, we did. Yes, a good job. Because it's a whole team there. Yeah. Yes, it's the whole team. How, you know. how large is Panayer, just for perspective? How it's many people are working there? Twenty-five persons inside. Okay. So it's a good location. It's a very quiet area. Yeah. And uh, we have uh, two beautiful shops that we own. Okay. One is in Rome, and the other one is in Florence. Okay. Oh, that is, you know, right in the center of the center of the, of uh, Italian cities, and. Um, and uh, we have also in the shop uh, a huge a new expertise of years and years oh, yeah. in helping people to make their choice, to make well their job. You know, when you know there is a shop, this means that you are still able to find somebody that is not there to sell you something, yes. but to suggest. This is what you, you call it, is the shop consultant. Yes. It's a big advantage and I think it's the big work you guys are doing here. We're trying. Yeah, no, we're trying no, to do no, that no. over the internet. It's a different, a like, like, little bit different game, but like yes. Yoda used to say, "Do or not, or do, or do not." <laughs> Never. Try. There is no try. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I love that. I love that. Since you know, a few friends started calling me Yoda Dante. This yeah. means thank you, Yoda. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Hopefully, more for your wisdom and not for your looks, right? <laughs> Um, another thing which we didn't even talk about yet, but is the, the cap mechanism. It's a magnetic this, this cap. Is, this is patented. But it's a twist yes. magnetic yes. cap. 
Is that is that the way the best way to say it? I think. Uh, this is uh, I call it. You know, I named it uh, a twist mag magnetic. Twist magnet. Okay, yeah. Because uh, is uh, I got experience by making you know magnetic caps. Yeah. And my idea was to uh, make uh, two polarization on the same magnet. Yes. Half positive and half negative. Yes. This means that when you leave the the the, the pen in the cap, you know the cap automatically turns the pen. In the right position. Yes. Or if and you intentionally hold it there, it can yes. kind of bounce back a little bit. But of course, it's kind of fun. When since you're most there. of the pens are made by you know screw. Yes. So the, the first thing that people does is just to open or right. to screw. Right. And if you screw this, just is oh, how many it. people have had a screw cap and then yes. they give it to somebody else exactly. and they yank it? And it's like, oh no, no, no! You're going to ruin my this pen. Op this open <laughs> in, in either case. Yeah. In or you have case. a or you have a, a click yes. mechanism that wears yes. out over time yeah. or something like that. But this is and I have wear to out. say that I've patented for Pinider, mm -hmm. and is, uh, I think, one of the few real innovation that actually is happening in, into the pens. I like it. And since I was, you know, playing with magnets, I put the magnet even reverse. <laughs> so because when you post the cap in the body, yes, usually you have to press. Yeah, I didn't like that because if you press too much or right. too low. And in the past, I've seen yeah. pens broken because pressing too much. Right. In 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 the oh, because it puts pressure on lip, the, the cap. That's lip. part of the why the reason yes, there are exactly. typically center bands on yeah. the pens is to reinforce. Them. This is really uh, originally Reason. the clip was the the bands were born in in twenties to yes. reinforce the weaker part of the cap. Yes. That is the cap end close to the to yeah. the to the center, mm -hmm. because over there there was the threading. Yes. Then when you lock the pen, the thread goes forced a little bit and they expand, yes. so it could crack, you know, the material, okay. even celluloid could crack, yes. would crack. And the two rings or three rings that uh, the former maker used to put mm -hmm. was to reinforce the cap. The other point is that when you post the, the pen, is also a stress moment. Yes. But if you post this pen, please this do one, it. There's, there's no stress. You, you I mean, notice it's just... it, that it's not stress, but it's perfect lining here yeah. up to the very, this pen is very precise. Yes. It's made like a Swiss watch. Yes, I very, very low tolerance. If you feel here the connection between the grip section and, and, and the body, mm -hmm. there is no gap. Right. And by the feeling of your hand can feel 100 of a millimeter. Really? That is very thin. That is very thin. <laughs> I can yeah, grant you. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I can grant you. How about that? This is a design and, 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 and machine in a very, very precise way. Yeah. This is the, what is the difference be between a good professional pen and, mm -hmm. and you know, a normal pen. Yes. We're going to move on because we have a lot of more exciting things to talk about. That is very exciting. But what's also exciting is the price is going to be a little bit lower than the Grand Beauties that we had uh, previously. So these ones we're looking at $498 as the, the MSRP, the retail price. I think that actually this is not the real price of the pen. The price, the right price of pen should be at least hundred dollar more. I, I this would is say, my yeah. opinion, as a, as, a, <laughs> as a pen expert. Yes, based pen, on based on all that's in this. This pen is my business yeah. card is with a pen expert. Right. Believe me. Right, right. The, 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 the real, real price of the, of the pen is one hundred dollar more. Yes, but but Penider wants to make a strong entrance. It's, right? it's and make a, a strong it's, presence with the, in the, with, the with the management of Penider. We decided to have uh, a nice price. Yes. First of all, to have as many people as possible to know Pinaide, yes. the beauty of this pens, yeah. the beauty of this pens, mm -hmm. and the quality of the snip. Yes, I think that. And be also be the overall good. quality of the pen. Uh, please remember that the packaging of the pen includes. Yes, you and know, I don't have one of those with entire, me to show, but an entire yes. you know package of our uh, you know beautiful Gorgeous envelopes yes. and and paper, yes. and this is a free gift together with the pen. It's wonderful and and beautiful and and, and, uh, and, uh, and the box itself it recalls the 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 vintage you know, writing desk you know. Yes, absolutely. I like to create you know themes and you know things that uh, you know create uh, some feelings. Yes. Yeah. So let's talk next about the honeycomb pen. Yeah. Because this, I think, is going to be like, oh, yeah, Dante's back. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, when, when I put in my Facebook page, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, a man wrote, Dante Magic is back. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You so, usually have to say, to tell you that, you know, 
the tree that I have in my garden yes. is uh, a tree that gives a very good idea every five years. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you get a really big apple every five years. So this is, yeah. a, this is a pen that has a honeycomb pattern in it where, I mean, there's holes through the pen. Yeah. And it's like, it's, it's hexagonal holes I, that go I, through the I, pen. Got I mean, the, I, I, I have a hard time even describing what this is without looking at it. This because... is, first of all, is, this pen is an homage to nature. Yes. Because honeycomb is one of the most perfect shape ever. Yes. And it's heavily used even from the industry to reinforce parts, you mm. know, Kevlar. Yes. Honeycomb is, is a great texture. Yes. So I got the idea, you know, just, you know, in the evening looking, you know, say, I want to make Pick a the pen. apple off your tree. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> but this was a good apple, huh? Eh? Yes. And this, this is, is a good so apple. This, this is going to be a limited edition pen. 888, you know. 888 pieces. Uh, we, this is actually it's not even finished. This is stage three of the yes. pen. So this is, it's going to be more polished than this. I mean, this uh, a, little, a little improvement. Yeah, we have to go into the final production. Yeah. We'll be able to make a little bit better. Okay. Better. Even yeah. with the, uh, you know, a castle that is very picky, you know, I would be, has to be perfect, of course. Yes. But, uh, you know, the pen is already, you know, I would like to say the impact is there. It's not a pen for every day. You have to be clearly, you know. Sure. A pen like this is a pen that is so thin, you know, can be breakable if it falls down because no question, it's not for use every day. Sure. I mean, but it's not a solid material. It's not solid it material, in, but yeah. this is something that is most collectible. Yes, I would agree. Most collectible. Cartridge converter because Car cartridge it's converter. got holes in it. <laughs> nah, nah. I would really say not that eyedropper if, if I, I was putting I, I was putting you know a a a, 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 a a piston, you will lose most of the work, right? Because you get busy with all the pins. Well, stuff. and you see the mechanisms, and it yeah. becomes a different purpose. And I, know, I I also in my original purpose was not to raise too much the cost of the pen. Right. I wanted to live at a, a reasonable cost, mm -hmm. you know, uh, nice, something that everybody can have, a, a real collectible pen mm -hmm. without paying a fortune. Yeah, and this one, the price on this is $798. I f I which, think, for the, which for the work, that, I mean, this, you know, this is not just an injection molded, you know, crank these things out. If There's a lot of handwork that in goes In the market, this. there are, you know, demonstrator pens at the same price. Yeah. So this is a, a, a cut-out demonstrator, and if you look how many cuts they have. Yeah, <laughs> a lot, a lot, yes. It's not that simple, you know, believe yes. me. It's not that simple to make it properly. Yes. And I was very excited when uh, I was able to bring the sample to the United States. Oh, for sure. And, uh, you know, introduced to Los Angeles show. I was so excited. You get a good response at the LA Oof. show. I'm sure. Oof. I'm sure. <laughs> People are like, when can I get it? When can I get it? A friend of mine that is uh, uh, the managing director of a big leather company, I said, Dante, you are the best. You are the inventor. You are the dream. You know, it, it, it pleases me a lot. But, you know, this is one of my great pens, for yes. sure. Is You know that I've made a, a few, really, that are standing yeah. there. Yeah. Still in production, still, you know, unique pens. Pushing the envelope, yeah, making a name for yourself. Yeah. And this will be one of those. So this is so no doubt. When are we looking at this one? This is like more in the summer, right? We've got a couple uh, of months no, on this no, one? Probably in, in April. You okay. Know, when I will be back to Florence, I will start the production of the pen. Okay. You know what? Until the, everything is done, I don't, I don't, don't, I don't feel well. You can't promise. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. <laughs> I I'm don't sure. feel well. I'm sure. And, you know, uh, is when you do something that you know, is difficult. Yeah. When you decide that you don't know. Right. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know how difficult it is. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And you've developed a couple other things. These are just small little ideas. One of which is um, the snorkel, <laughs> which, uh, you know, it doesn't require a whole lot of explanation, but it's basically you take a standard international converter and you have this piece of stainless steel. Now, tubing. Now you should ask me why I did this. Well, I know why, but there is for our audience that, out there, why, uh, why did you do this, Dante? Okay, I did this because one of the things I'm working okay. for the future is to make writing as clean as possible. Okay, so no ink you on know, the fingers. You know, I, I have friends that they like to dirty their hands, like I, also my hands are always dirty. Yeah. But uh, I think it's something that is a good target, you know, to have something that you can tell your customer, hey guys, you have a, a nice pen, 
and you can give you the best way how to fill it mm -hmm. with without mess up everything you know that's fair and fair and play with different colors because mm -hmm. when we write the color is one of the key points yes and there are many brands in the market there are many colors mm -hmm. so this is the way that you can first of all use all the ink mm -hmm. that is in the pen yes easily and that's what without I like being it, yeah. able to take a convert and put fingers everything inside it i think yeah because you, you get know. ink around the lid of the cap you go to stick the converter down in there you get ink all over it's your fingers just dirty. It, can, it can make it's a just mess. dirty Absolutely. or put the nib the section everything inside you want to yeah to do this as, as clean so, as possible so you know this basically takes that idea of removing the converter off the pen and filling from the bottle but it gives you a tool to make a tool it. to do it it's, it's, it's and it's beautiful this in its simplicity not, it's very simple it's a steel tube that Still allows good. you to get down into the bottom of the bottle and keep your fingers the, free. The from hole inside the is lid. very small, so the, the ink left is really a minimum, less than a drop. Yeah. So I think it's something nice, it's completely inexpensive. Absolutely. And uh, it's going to fit, you know, everybody. Yeah. And uh, we, we might see these relatively soon, within a month or two. Yeah, this is uh, actually easy in production. Wonderful. I will launch the production as soon as I'm back to Florence. So we stood in, we are starting a very simple packaging, you mm -hmm. know, and it uh, be complex, yeah. and it can be, you know, I think we can be adapted to every converter that are in the market. Oh, Actually okay. is for the international standard, mm -hmm. but we can also, That's the, this particular one. Yes. Yeah. But mm -hmm. we can create, uh, you know, sure. and uh, adapt uh, yeah. to get, uh, you know, to any converter. So people, makes sense. even I would like to have not to buy more than one or they can buy more than one, of course, but uh, just with if one, different they can adapt. Yeah, I can or, see that. Sure. I mean, the people that still like to play with the writing instrument. Right, <laughs> absolutely. That's our crowd here. Yeah. And then we have one more thing uh, to talk about here, which is the thing that I'm actually probably the most excited about. Um, the pen filler. It's a pen filler. And this is it's following exactly the same purpose of this one. It's beautiful in its simplicity. So essentially, it's a way to transport your ink so that you yeah. can carry around a small ink well in a very safe way. It's plastic, so yeah. not glass, not going to break. Yeah. And it carries around 20 milliliters of ink. Yeah. And it allows you to, to be able to fill your pen directly from this, yeah. get a full filling, uh, yeah. and uh, you're able to Take a pen. do that. Yeah. So you take it, you put the pen in there. Yeah. It has a rubber insert inside there. Insert. But the beauty of it is what you're about to show me. Yeah. This, I was able to make a system to lock the pen inside. Yes. This prevents you from the pen to slip away. Sure. It fits nearly every pen in the mouth. Because you got you to turn the thing upside down to be able to fill yes. it. Yes. So this so is you. There's always a risk of like you, dumping ink all over your hands. Exactly. <laughs> there are threads. You yes. can just turn the the mechanism. Turn it, locks it in you place. You know, the rubber inside is squeezed yes. against the pen. Yes. So it's able so it really to compensate over pen. three millimeters of width. Okay. Because I don't know at the end what is the pen. Which, what pen is going to use? Yeah. yeah. It's not, so it's not made just for the Grand Duke. I would put a, 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 a gauge mm -hmm. inside. It's, I think a gauge is not the right, uh, you know, the pronunciation is not okay. perfect. Okay. That uh, people can check if the a pen. Gauge. 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 Yes. gauge. Mm -hmm inside to check if uh, what is the minimum and maximum size to, to put in in in, uh, in the inkwell yes i think it will will work also with the very old safety pen okay there are people that still use them sure easy way to fill it you know once the pen is is locked mm -hmm. you can reverse without any problem exactly fill the pen with the system of the pen it can be yes. a piston can be a converter or yes. any other Whatever system it is. Yeah. Or any other system then you have simply to unlock the system and take the pen out. and pull it out. Beautiful. And if you notice, I turn the pen, the section is clean. It is clean. This means that bit ink on the nib. The the nib was yeah, the nib was actually no choice, inside yeah. of the ink, so right. it has to be. So if you wipe so the nib, it will be more than enough. Yeah, for sure. And you can get a full filling on whatever pen, whatever filling mechanism. Now you take the cap, you can lock it again. Mm -hmm. It's done. And you're done. It's beautiful. I love it. And this one of the way that to make our beautiful, you know, passion mm -hmm. to be everyday, you know, fun. Yeah. Without having to go to work with your dirty hands. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and this one we're looking several months out. It's still in development. It's still in, de de in development, yeah. but uh, you know, 
I think that in a couple of months we hope to be able to put in the market. Yes. And uh, it also you can go with your with, with your pen in mm -hmm. a two pen case or three yeah, pen you case. Can, it's, you know, it's small enough where it can fit and travel yeah. around with you. It's I think that's very handy. And uh, I think it's uh, something that uh, is uh, nice to have. Mm -hmm. It can also can be filled. If you buy four or five with your favorite colors, absolutely, and keep changing, you know, oh, swapping sure. colors for sure. It's beautiful, and yeah. for sure, any piston pen need this. Any piston yeah, pen. or vacuum filling pen too. I mean, my gosh, those are so hard to fill, um, fully especially. So I think that's one of the one of the coolest things, and just you know, these, are, the, these are the, things you're the developing within the first pens, year, which just blows my mind. The converter pens when uh, after the 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 schnorkel. Yeah. It's not really needed to use that, you know. Yeah, but these you, are kind of served too. But you can also use with a converter. Absolutely, yeah. With a converter. It's beautiful. And you can pull the whole thing out. You can take it apart, clean it. It's, it's very easy to take Yeah, apart. and it's enough ink for a long, long trip. Yeah, 20 milliliters. I mean, jeez. You're not going <laughs> to use that much on one trip. You're just really not. I don't know. Probably Mr. Tostoy when he was writing I don't know, maybe. War in Peace. Maybe. Who maybe. knows? Well, but Tostoy got one of those. Exactly. Who knows? Huh? Exactly. Wonderful. <laughs> Well, this has been really exciting to see what it is that you've been up to. I mean, this is just your first year. You're still getting your footing at the new company, learning where the bathroom is and whose people's names uh, are and all that kind of stuff. I have to tell stuff. you, I've been warming, <laughs> warm up in this year. Yeah. Now the real performance will be in the next year. Well, I think, I think uh, this is a nice little introduction here to say like, all right, Dante's here and yeah. he's here to stay and we're going to see some really exciting things coming out. So um, we're going to be carrying all this stuff at Goulet Pens as it comes available. Yeah. Um, but we wanted to do really kind of like an inside peek at what you're developing, um, a first look at some of this stuff. And to be able to do that in person, uh, I just couldn't pass up the opportunity. See, so how many years we know each other, Yes. you know that you know, this is what we like to do. Exactly. Because at we the both, end, we're like, we're like both of kids. us, we have the same Absolutely. target, you know. The same passion, yeah, and we like to 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 use these uh, tools. Yes, uh, these tools. Oh, 100 percent. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Dante. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for, for the, the time. Nice speech. It was yeah. real pleasure for me. Absolutely. And uh, and I invite you in Florence. Well, you know, I've now I, so I just traveled to Germany internationally. It was the first time in my life I traveled back okay. in December. So I have my passport now. I never even had a passport before, uh, but uh, you know I may have to take you up on that. So you have we'll to see. come. Give you the, I will give you a very good time. <laughs> I have no doubt about that. <laughs> no doubt about that. Maybe we could go to run on a motorcycle. I'm kidding. Rachel would not let that happen. But <laughs> thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Be sure to find out more information about this on GuletPens.com. We'll have all these products up there eventually as they become available. It's been a pleasure, Dante. Yeah. Thank you so much. Goodbye, everybody. And right on.